It met its demise when its owners abandoned. It due to this peculiar condition. If any relationship has endured over time in the world. It is the one between humans and dogs. The bond has a millennium and more of history. But these days. It's more typical to see these devoted friends ignored or worse. Abandoned. It is unclear why someone would desert these devoted friends. But happily. There are those who rescue them from the streets. And show them all the love they deserve. In addition to those who leave them to their fate. That is the subject matter of today's three stories. As evidenced by the Affinity Foundation's 2022. Abandonment and Adoption Study. Over 285,000 dogs and cats were taken in in 2021. This alarming statistic indicates that. In order to lower the number and protect the welfare. Of dogs and cats in our community. Abandonment is still a structural issue that calls for. Increased involvement and collaboration from all parties. The protagonist of our first story today. Arquil is involved in one of these cases. A mixed breed dog named Narwhal was saved from the streets of the United States after his owners chose to give up on him because of an unusual deformity in his skull. It was amazing to the veterinarians because he had a second tail that was at eye level. Seldom do we come across rare cases like this dog. Unfortunately, Narwhal's owners saw it as unpleasant rather than impressive. Which is why the poor dog was left for several days on a Missouri street in the United States. For several days, the poor little dog continued to roam around in search of his owners. He wandered for many miles until he became so thirsty and hungry that he gave up on life. This adorable dog had no idea what fate had in store for him. Narwhal was rescued from this abandonment a few days. Later by the workers of Max Mission's K-9 Rescue in Missouri. Who took him into their center. In December 2019. This made his case widely known on Facebook and Twitter. The animal rights activists who saved him gave him the name Narwhal. After the PC Narwhal also referred to as the unicorn of the seas there's no need to explain why this baptism is being performed thousands of people wanted to get in touch with the shelter to offer themselves as adoptive families for the orphaned unicorn after the first pictures of the puppy went viral many others on the other hand asked that the dog be taken to a veterinarian right away for an evaluation of his condition at the time of the discovery. And to decide whether or not he was suitable for adoption. Is it feasible to have surgery performed, the tail of the tree? On his face was the million dollar question. The purpose of the extra tail is just to make him look. Like a cute little dog. It is not attached to anything. Through social media. His rescuers shared the veterinary's assurance. Dar. Garden by profession. That the second tail removal was not necessary. It doesn't move. But that didn't mean the end of the cute animal's life. The specialist added that the unusual appendage showed. No signs of growth and seemed to be in perfect health. Other than a few common puppy worms for which he was. Treated with medication. But even though a lot of people thought Arbol would have surgery and be placed for adoption, he's still around, keeping the Facebook portal's fans happy and contributing to the Happy Max mission litter. The friendly pit bull named Mac occasionally posts pictures to his social media accounts. The small unicorn dog, whose second tail never broke is now a healthy and content resident who plays every day with other American street dogs that were also rescued. He has come to represent the organization. And they think that this will always be his home. Where he will live with all of his other friends and 
Caregivers from the Center Today's second story concerns the case of Murray. A Weimaraner mix who was discovered as a puppy. At the Dog Beach in Puerto Rico along with his three siblings. This area is notorious for being a site of animal abandonment. A problem that is regrettably rather common in the state due to economic shifts. Murray and his siblings began exhibiting symptoms of distemper. An illness that normally results in death for dogs due to its effects on the respiratory and nervous systems. Shortly after they were saved by Project Santo, an animal rights organization. Rescuers assumed that the reason for their original owner's abandonment was their desire to avoid dealing with the disease that these cute puppies, who had no fault in the birth of the illness, were born with. This story went viral thanks to YouTube, where it is recounted that the dog was about to be euthanized due to the advanced stage of his illness and the slim chances of survival. But Murray clung to life, knowing that he deserved to live just as any other dog does seeing this positive attitude from Murray and the veterinarian. He had a change of heart and tried everything to keep him alive. Nevertheless Murray lost every tooth he had due to the virus. That nearly killed him, which left his tongue hanging on one side of his snout. He also has bone abnormalities that give him a unique appearance from the other dogs. However, this did not stop Murray from finding a family once. He had recovered. They were more impressed by his spirit and desire to live them by his outward look. They lavish him with love and affection, treating him just like any other family pet. The adopting family then promotes the adoption of animals with similar conditions on social media. There are instances of people abandoning their dogs out of pure irresponsibility or hate. But there are also instances of good-hearted people who love their pets dearly but are unable to provide them with the life they deserve. This is especially true when they are managing an illness that costs more than they can afford. In one instance, the owner left her sweet dog on the street along with a heartfelt note and a backpack full of toys. The dog, named Luna, was found chained to a fire hydrant in Green Bay, Wisconsin, USA, and subsequently saved by an animal welfare organization. The anonymous owner of Luna had left a letter that the rescuers could understand, even though they disagreed with the reason for Luna's abandonment. The letter clarified that although the owner loved Luna, they were unable to provide for her because of both their own and the dog's health problems. Since they had no one else to take care of Luna, they left her tied up with her favorite toys in the hopes that someone would have mercy on her and give her the life they were unable to. After taking Luna for a standard examination, the team discovered that she had diabetes mellitus commonly referred to as canine diabetes, which results in high blood sugar levels. Luna requires insulin injections at home, a restricted diet, and daily glucose monitoring due to her health issues. Taking care of this condition can be expensive because it may call for monthly purchases of insulin and other medical supplies. A spokesperson stated that the cost of all the supplies could be several hundred dollars per month. Based on the veterinarian's evaluation, Luna's owner clearly loved her, and it's clear that they tried their hardest to help her, despite facing their own health issues and obstacles in life. One is undergoing treatment for her illness. But don't worry. She is safe and getting lots of love from her rescuers. Luna found a new home a short time after being taken in by the animal charity. Because of the widespread coverage of Luna's story in local media, 
the puppy's story received an enormous amount of attention on a global scale. It was revealed to the dog's former owner that her pet was well and under the loving care of a caring family. We have been in contact with the previous owner and are grateful for the opportunity to connect with her and honor her wishes for Luna to find a new home said a representative for the organization that is trying to save Luna. However, they also sent this woman, who has cancer, information about resources for support. The community members were kind enough to provide these resources. She expressed her happiness and gratitude that Luna had finally found a loving home, as she truly deserves. One day, Charlie and his friends met a hungry owl on the road and sent it to the animal rescue center in the area. He liked the wild bird so much that he offered to raise it indefinitely. But just as he was about to take it home, a shocking thing happened on a shocking spring day. Charlie and his motorcycle enthusiasts decided to ride through the local forest. This is their favorite route in the area ending in a village where they can always find delicious food. As they were driving along the winding road, a trembling little owl cub suddenly stopped on their track. The owl cub seemed lost and hungry. It is clear that the recent rain has separated the newly hatched bird from its family, making it vulnerable and lonely. The compassionate Charlie immediately contacted the Wildlife Protection Department and the police, who rushed to the scene to assist in the rescue. The newly hatched chick is carefully transported to a professional wildlife care facility, where it will be taken care of and taken care of in the hope that it can be released back into the wild one day. After they made sure that the little owl was properly taken care of, Charlie and his friends continued their journey. As they rode deep into the woods they came across a fallen tree blocking their way, which had obviously just fallen, and they suspected it might have been the work of a group of illegal loggers. Charlie knows that deforestation poses a threat to the natural habitat of many animals, including the owl cubs they have just rescued the idea stayed with him. And a few weeks later, Charlie couldn't help checking on the progress of the owl cubs. He contacted the Wildlife Conservation Department to ask about the condition of the owl, and they invited him to see the bird in person when he arrived. He was surprised at the change. The once trembling and lost cub has now grown into a majestic bird with vibrant feathers and sharp eyes. However, the staff expressed their concern about the bird to Charlie. They told him that owls at this stage of development should have the ability to fly. But the newly hatched owls did not try to do so. The caretaker explained to Charlie that the owl performed well physically, but needed a lot of care and attention to thrive, mentally and emotionally. Since the day he saved the bird, he has developed a sense of responsibility for it. Then he decided to start visiting the shelter regularly. To check on the owl to see if there was anything he could do to help. Over the next few weeks, Charlie spent a lot of time at the center. Helping to take care of the bird. He learned how to feed the owl. Clean the cage and even hold it in his hand. As time went on. Charlie became more and more attached to the owl. He began to regard it as his pet and looked forward to seeing it every day. One day, Charlie was feeding the bird when he noticed that it was looking at him with big bright eyes. He felt as if it was trying to tell him something, but he wasn't sure what it was. Suddenly, the owl began to flap its wings and jump around the cage. Charlie realized that the owl had reached the stage where it could fly and needed to return to its natural habitat. The manager of the Wildlife Conservation Service shared his views. However, 
they were uncertain about the outcome of the release. Because the owl had never tried to fly before. Still. It's worth a try. The Wildlife Conservation Department arranged to release. The owl and take it to a suitable place in the forest for it to breed. When they opened the cage. The owl hesitated at first. But a moment later. It rose into the air. Charlie and the caretaker watched in awe as the owl hovered over their heads and flew away, disappearing into the thick forest. Charlie felt a sense of accomplishment because he knew he had helped the owl find its way back to the wild. He was sad to see it disappear, but he knew he had done the right thing. But as soon as Charlie turned around, he felt a stream of air and familiar feathers brushing his face. The owl came back, perched on his shoulder and barked softly. Wildlife conservation services are surprised because it is rare for wild birds to return to humans. Charlie realized that the owl had made a special connection with him and felt a sense of gratitude to the bird. But the experts are not as happy as he is. Most animal reserves are designed to safely reintroduce their animals into the wilderness and are disappointed when they fail. Even if it is not their fault, breeders speculate that it may be too dependent on human care and lack the skills to survive in the wild. So, they took it back to the center. Charlie felt responsible for the development of the situation. And if the owl could not live in the wild, he was willing to provide a home for the owl. The Wildlife Conservation Department agrees that this is good for birds. Charlie went home to make some preparations and promised that he would come back the next day to pick up the owl. He affectionately named Huff. He was about to fall asleep when he received an unexpected message from a volunteer from the bird sanctuary on his mobile phone. The message includes a DNA test report that shows something shocking. Huth is more than just an ordinary owl cub. He is a rare owl thought to be extinct. According to local legend, villagers believe that the rare owl, known as the Cameroon wooden owl, has magical powers and humanoid abilities. It has not been discovered for years and its fleeting nature may have captured the imagination of local villagers. Although there is no scientific evidence to support the idea that owls actually have magical powers, this legend has always existed and is still an important part of the village's cultural heritage. Charlie was stunned. He didn't know that the bird he found on the road was such a rare creature. He was more grateful for his experience with Huth, and he knew that the future of the owl was bright. When he fell asleep that night, he dreamed about his new best friend and all the adventures they had experienced together. However something is about to derail his plan. When he arrived at the sanctuary the next day, he could not predict what would happen next. When Charlie approached Huth's cage to take him out, he heard a faint cry from a nearby tree. Suddenly a majestic owl swooped down and landed on the cage. It looks like Huth. But it's bigger and stronger. At a safe distance. One of the volunteers recognized it as another Cameroonian. Forest owl and speculated that it was Huth's mother. Mother owl had been looking for her bird and finally found. Charlie when he reached for the lock on the cage to release the bird. Something earth-shaking happened leaving everyone speechless. They all watched in surprise as the mother owl opened. The cage with her beak. Huth ran out quickly. Looked at the bird for a few seconds. And then asked her to take him under her wings. The mother looked at Charlie. Gave a grateful cry. And then flew into the forest with the child. Charlie has mixed feelings. He was sad to see his friend gone. 
But he was also glad that the owl was reunited with his mother. It was a moment he would never forget. When he left the Wildlife Conservation Service, he couldn't help wondering if the mother owl had the ability to open Huth's cage. He was surprised by the bird's wisdom and the bond. She still shared with the baby weeks after separation. When he told the story to some villagers, they all reminded him of the legend of Cameroon forest owls. A clever, resourceful wild bird said to have magical powers. Charlie was not sure whether the feat he witnessed could be called magic. But it did change his view of owls and wild animals in general. From that day on, Charlie became a regular volunteer at the Wildlife Conservation Service Center. He felt that he had found his mission and knew that he would always be a friend of forest animals.